right there. Got him. I got him. Ooh. I got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Ooh. Oh, got him. Got him. I got him. Ooh. Let's do a quick release fit of this guy. He's all grassy because he fell down, but look at that. What is up, you guys? It is Milo here from Random Cast, and today we are coming back to the Cypress Creek Park, I think it's Cypress Creek Park. It has two lakes, and we're gonna go fishing at the second lake, which I did some research and I looked it up, and apparently they just stocked it with rainbow trout. So, yes, we're gonna try and do a little bit of catch clean cook. So, I know those trout are really really tasty so i'm gonna try to catch a couple and then hopefully we get lucky enough to catch decent sized ones so come along with me um let me just find a parking spot right here i think i park up but one thing look i brought a banana as a snack now i've heard i don't know if it's true but i've heard bananas while fishing is bad luck is that true i don't know whoever knows about this comment down below just, just in case, because I, I realized that on my way over here, I was like, wait, I just remembered. Bananas are bad luck for fishing. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to leave it here. Leave the banana here, and I'll eat it as a reward afterwards. How about that? Anyways, you guys, um, let me get my stuff ready, and I'll see you at the spot. So come along with me, wish me luck, and let's go catch some fish. the first full video of the year hopefully it's gonna be a full video uh so i just i really hope i can catch something nice and we are we are we gotta stay positive we're gonna catch something and hopefully i'm, I'm just really excited it's it's been a whole year and i love catching rainbow trout those trout are beautiful they're so beautiful they have their spots and they're, they're just beautiful trout so hopefully there's still some rainbow trout left I'm about mm, a month late, I think. Uh, yeah, we're in January. Apparently, they, they stocked them in December. So, I hope it's not too late to say Happy New Year to you guys. I uh, hope you're having a good first two weeks of the year. And yes, um, I am fishing right after the freeze that we had here in Texas. So, um, I don't know how that's going to affect the fishing, hopefully. It doesn't affect it that much today's thursday so monday it went down to like the 18th so it was super cold and today just got a branch and today it's high 50s so it's not super cold but on monday it was super cold we were damn we we're dying I mean, hopefully it turns out to be a good fishing trip so please 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 wish me luck and let's go catch some fish Well, you guys, we have the spot all to ourselves. The water is so serene and it's so beautiful. It's just, this, this spot never ceases to amaze me. And it, it's very beautiful, very, very beautiful. Okay, I'm excited. Let's go to the spot. Guys, I just seen a fish jump over there. I don't know if that was a trout or not, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Anyways, so today we brought a variety of bait. Look at that. I've got a lot of bait. So first off, we've got dancing rascals. These are red worms. We've got the trusty night crawlers, and we've got some power bait going on right here. We've got this is um, corn gulp. Look at that. Um, I used this last time. I was I was pretty lucky with it, and I used this one as well. This is power bait. This is a uh, Crap, uh, crappie nibbles look at that it's pretty cool these, these work well lastly we've got real corn so um i don't know which one i'm gonna start off with uh but you know i brought two rods actually let me show you the rods that i've got so i've got pretty light rods this is a um quantum combo rod right here it's a five footer i think i believe and this is this one's got um i think this is eight mono 
uh, pound line. So yeah, it, it works pretty good. It works pretty good. This one, I don't even know. I got this one off of a garage sale, but this is a ugly stick. And this one's four foot. And then this, this reel right here, I don't even know what this is. This is a, a Tsunami reel, SW200. I don't know, but this one's got eight pound line as well, I think. If not, it's 10 pound line monofilament, as you can see. So uh, let me go ahead and rig these up with a, with a bait each. I'll, I'll start off with life bait, and then uh, on the other one, I'll hook up a one of the power baits. And if none of those work, I have also got some spinner baits. That I might try out, but let's see what happens. Let's, see, let's start off with the with the life bait and the power bait, and then work up from there. All right. Well, let's hook up a night crawler over here really quick, and let's make a good cast out. Look at that, you guys! All right, let's make a good cast. Let's see this cast out. Let's line up the line. We've got a little bit of grass in our reel. Let's do this. Did you guys, did you guys hear that? <laughs> uh, that was weird. There was a bunch of like, I think those were raccoons. I don't know what that was, but I think they were fighting. Anyways, let's do this cast out. First cast out. Ooh, that went pretty far. All right, that's good. Okay, now I'm gonna fix up the quantum rod. You know what, you guys, I just got an idea. What if I open up the can of corn and I kind of chum the water with the corn. Do you think that that would attract some fish? Maybe, I don't know. And which one should I start off with? Maybe I'm gonna start off with the pink bait. Uh, no crappie nipples. I think we'll just hook them up like that, right? So we've got the hook, split shots, and the floater right there. Right there, should be fine. I guess now we just wait. We're, we're just gonna wait for that bite. Every five minutes, I'm gonna check the bait and cast it out to another spot. All right, we're fishing. All we gotta do is just, you know, play the waiting game. All right, y'all, yeah. let me chump the water. Let's get some corn and cast it out as far as we can. Or throw it out as far as we can. So I'm on this side. Or throw it again. There we go. Some in the middle. All full cast, and that should be enough. There we go. All right, let's see if that works. All right, y'all, it's been a long 15 minutes and I haven't caught a single thing on the crappie nibbles. And the only thing that I've got is a little bit of bite on the night crawlers. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch out the crappie nibbles to some red worms and hopefully that turns out good. Let's see. There we go, look at that. I'm so close to catching one. I, I can feel it, I can feel it. Oh, I'm getting bites right there. Got him, I got him. Ooh, I got him. <gasps> Is that a rainbow trout? Yes, I got a freaking rainbow trout. Oh, this one's a big one. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, this is a, wow, I think this is the biggest one I've caught yet so far. So far. Oh, shoot. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm keeping this one. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna dispatch him. Thank you so much for letting me catch you. Let me go ahead and dispatch it. All right, fish is dispatched. Put him on the net and put him on the water. Right, fish is in the water. Okay, yeah, yep. They're biting it for sure. <laughs> My sister, y'all, look at that. That little dot over there is my sister. Como estas hermanita? Yes, one. That's a really nice one. It's it's big. Oh, and look, I'm getting. It's a trout, yes. Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Ooh! <laughs> look at that! Ooh! 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 No, that one's bigger that one's than this bigger. one. Yeah, the one that I first, the first one that I caught is bigger than this one. Well, look at that beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. It's just amazing. 
So far, so good. We've got two fish, and those look very good. Those are very good. Oh, shoot. Look at that. They just left me with... I don't even know what this is anymore. This is not even a worm. So far, this is the, these are have been getting more bites than the Nightcrawler. Oh, shoot. That just don't take Hold up. Come on, get off. There we go. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, I got him. <laughs> My phone is going to fall. Oh, this one's big, I think. Oh, yeah, this one's big. Oh, oh yeah, this one's big. Whoa, he's got some bites on his stomach. Look at that. Talk about alligators in the water. Nah, these are not alligator bites. <laughs> it must, it's alligators, okay. <laughs> One of the hook, he, this guy, this guy was hungry. Third one of the day. All right, let's go for a fourth, a fourth one. Or I think I already have four. Or is it three that I have? I have three, right? Okay, yeah. Let's go for the fourth one. There we go. 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 Oh, got him! Got him! I got him! Oh, look at that. Very beautiful. Oh, whoa. He's fighting. Oh, shoot. There we go. Whoa. He's saying disco time. Fourth one is dispatched. Beautiful one. Look at that. All right, guys. Since we pretty much used all the freaking baits that we have, I'm going to try out an artificial. This is like a, a bullet lure, I think. Look at that. I think that should work, work pretty nice. It looks really nice. It's a, it's a spinner bait, but let's try it out. Maybe I can catch maybe a bass. Last time I I fished here, I I caught a bass with a worm. So maybe I even get a chance to catch a bass with this. Well, first time you check this thing, I think I think this this has something going on. Yep, it does. Oh, that's a tiny one. All right, dude. I'm gonna let this one go. Beautiful rainbow trout, really small. We're not gonna keep this one, so we'll let him go right here. Come on, smooth release. There we go, there he goes. Look at that, nice. Well, you guys, we still have a little bit of time left to fish, but um, we already caught our five trout that I wanted to catch. I'm gonna put the, the Texas wildlife, the regulations of uh, the trout, the stock trout here in Texas. I'm gonna put it right here. But um, yeah, I, I'm keeping five today. They're pretty decent sized ones. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still keep fishing. I'm gonna use the, the bullet lure that I tied on. And hopefully I can catch, maybe if I, if I catch another species, man, that would be cool. But if I catch some more rainbow trout, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna catch and release those the other ones that I catch. I'm not gonna keep any more than five. So thank you for the people that wish me luck. Let's keep fishing. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's do a quick release fit of this guy. He's all grassy because he fell down. But look at that. Very beautiful beautiful rainbow trout he's a big one look my foot is about 10 inches look at that oh my god look at those those dots on him nope he has to he has to leave he has to leave the right way like wow look at that he's beautiful you're beautiful little rainbow trout oh there he goes there he goes oh nice Pretty good. Whoopie you guys. I was lucky enough to catch five decent sized trout. I am, I can't be more grateful about this day. Like it started gloomy and now, the skies are clearing up and then it started getting pretty hot. I had to take my other um, shirt off because it was pretty, it got pretty hot. So um, we've got the fish in a bucket already and all I'm gonna do is put some ice on them so they can stay fresh. 
and um, I'll see you in the kitchen. Hopefully, we can make a really good dish and pair it up with some maybe some some potatoes, you know, maybe some fries with with fish and, and oh, oh, I'm already I'm already craving it. So I'll see you in the kitchen. Y'all be safe and um, let's cut the video right here. All right, y'all, we're back in the kitchen and we're gonna clean these fish. I previously cut the fish's gills for it to bleed out back at the spot. Now all that's left is scaling and gutting. Now, I know most people don't usually scale these rainbow trout, but I'll be doing so because I really don't like that texture that it has after cooking it. So the way that I usually scale these fish is by running my knife from the tail all the way down to the head, just like this. When you're done, make sure to clear all of the scales with a little bit of water. After scanning the fish, we're going to go ahead and gut the fish. The way we'll do this is by running the knife from the top of the fish all the way down to the anus. When you're done with that, open up the fish to reveal the gills, like so. And then to remove the guts, just pinch the gills all the way down like this. And just peel it off. It should take out all the guts and everything, the stomach, all out. Just like that. Look at that. Now, one thing I like to do while gutting the fish is check out the stomach and see what the fish has been eating. I do this to know what kind of baits I'm going to use next time I go fishing and be more successful. So, next time I come fishing for these rainbow trout, I'm going to do the same technique of chumming the water with corn because look at this fish's stomach. He really liked that corn. Look at that. Next up, all you got to do is clean out this line of blood, either with a spoon or with your thumb like I'm doing so here. And then after that, just rinse it off with a little bit of water. When you're done doing that, it should look just like this. Look at that. One last thing though, make sure that none of the guts go down the drain because that'll stink it up really bad. So what I'm going to do here is freeze up all the guts and everything so I can use them for bait next time I go fishing. I really don't want none of the parts of the fish to go to waste. So this is a really good way to prevent that. Since I'm not going to eat the fish's head, I'm going to cut it off by doing a really deep cut right below that color fin right there at a little bit of an angle. Now, as same as the guts, I'm not gonna let any part of the fish go to waste. So I'm gonna keep the head for bait as well and maybe use it on another video. I wonder what kind of fish is gonna pick it up. Anyways, before adding any spices to the fish, make sure to dry up the fish with a little bit of paper towel. That way the spices are spread evenly and very thoroughly everywhere around the fish. Now you guys, by no means am I a chef, but I did try my best to do a little really good spice mix right here and this mix has a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, salt, chili powder, paprika, basil, and oregano. So <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing but hopefully this tastes really good. Now I made one mistake. As I was spreading all the spices all over the fish, I realized that they didn't make the cuts on the fish. So before you put any spice on the fish. Make sure to not make the same mistake I made and do these little cuts right here all along the body. Add a little bit of an angle on both sides. Look at that. Please do not make the same mistake I made. Now for two sides, we're going to have broccoli and some really good mashed potatoes. So grab yourself a couple of potatoes and I'm going to show you the simplest way to make mashed potatoes. First off, wash the potatoes really good. Peel them up and then cut them into little squares like this. Make sure they're not too big and not too small. While you're at it, go ahead and cut up the broccoli as well, just so you can get it off your list. After that, I went ahead and put some water to boil, but I recommend doing this before you cut any of the veggies. That way that when you're done cutting the veggies, it is ready to go. Once the water is boiling, go ahead and put the potatoes in first and wait about 15 to 20 minutes. When the time is up, you can check them by piercing them with a fork or a knife. And if it's really easy to pierce them, then you'll know that it's ready. And then you can pass the potatoes to another pot. Once the potatoes are out, you can go ahead and put all the broccoli inside the boiling water. And then put a timer of about 4 minutes. Then all you gotta do is repeat the process and pass the broccoli to a bowl or another pot. Now back to the mashed potatoes. My girlfriend went ahead and put a little bit of um, black pepper, salt, and this type of spice. I think this is like chicken spice or something like that. But it makes the mashed potatoes taste so good. So I really recommend trying it out. After adding the spices, go ahead and put a little bit of melted butter and a little bit of milk. Then all you gotta do is just mash it up all together and mix it all really good and make sure that it doesn't turn too creamy and let the potatoes absorb all of the ingredients. 
Now let's cook the fish. You'll start off by adding a little bit of butter on a heating pan and then just spread the butter all over that pan just like this. Then you're gonna wanna add a little bit of garlic cloves right here to make that butter and get some flavor. And I also added a little bit of rosemary, but I didn't really have the actual rosemary. I just had that spice, the little rosemary that come in a little bottle. But I think it's the same, right? And then again, just spread it all over the pan. That way the butter can actually absorb all of that flavor. Once the butter is sizzling like this, go ahead and add your fish on there. Just look at that beauty, man. Just Mmm, fish cook up really fast, so make sure to keep them about three to four minutes on each side. But God, look at that. Every now and then, I added a little bit of butter to the pan and just kind of basted the fish like this. Look at that, it just looks so good. Remember, don't leave them on there too long, so make sure to flip them after that three to four minute mark. And then continue basting that fish with that butter. Now, would you look at that? That plate, maybe I didn't garnish it that well but it looks pretty good and yes i did cut my finger now i'm gonna eat this with my baby anyways the moment of truth is here we're gonna try out the rainbow trout look at that the meat just comes off really easily ready three two one it's really good i can eat it Honestly, it tastes pretty good. Very good. It tastes pretty good. It doesn't remind me of fish, though. It doesn't remind you of fish, you said? Mm -hmm. What does it remind you of? I don't know. Hmm. Like, what I'm trying to say is that... It doesn't taste fishy. Mm-hmm. Like... Other fish they've tried. Mm-hmm. It's really good. It's really good. Honestly, I don't really Alright you guys, I want to go ahead and apologize for my phone running out of space. I just realized it right now that I started to edit this part of the video and I, you know, I was like, damn. I seen that the video just cut off and I was like, oh, all the things that I said for the outro video is just gone. And it sucks, you know, but good thing is that I can record another outro video, so we're good to go. I do want to say is that I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Not the editing part so much because you know it just had a bunch of basic clips and it just sucks but what matters is that you guys enjoyed it and that I still had a lot from making it. So if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also if you like the type of content that I'm making make sure to consider subscribing and if you are already subscribed and want to receive notifications every time I upload a video there's an option for that you just have to go ahead and click the bell button that is next to the subscribe button. I'll put it right here just so you can know where it's at and that way you'll get notified every time I upload a video but the most important thing y'all is that I hope I made you guys stay a little bit more better with this video and also I want to say a huge thank you to all that watched this video and for all of you guys support I really certainly do appreciate it so much by the way I wanted to let y'all know that I'm about to reach the 500 subscriber mark and I want to say thank you for all of those that are already subscribed and for those that aren't, no pressure, you know, just take it into consideration and also know that it does help me out a lot. Anyways, y'all, with that being said, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll catch you all in the next video. Y'all stay safe out there. Peace.